Yeah, it what is. are we doing today? Well, I'll pay you Jackson here, making a, a I guess, a long-awaited return. Of course, some of you probably don't know who the hell I am. I'm Hal Payne Jackson. Of course, you all know Clinton Norris. This is a segment top five. Sponsored, not really, by Mickey's. Because why not? This fantastic drink. It's true. Fantastic beverage, I should say. Indeed. So, today, we were discussing this on a reason trip, and we were thinking, what's the top five 80s, 80s songs you can think of? Now, to me, the definition of that, and I don't know what Bane says, but I think it's a gross overuse of, like, synthesizer, and... Saxophone, maybe? Yeah, saxophone, very important, and then, um, like, choirs. Children's choirs, adult choirs. And cheese. Oh, of course. Just cheesiness. Of course. I mean, that, oh, that's a lot of 80s songs, so, you know, but, yeah. So, I guess I'll lead off with a little Clinton Norris Harrison show. I guess he can go first. I think this has been a year's show, by the way. I need a beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have one. Yeah. Um, so, number five from the, I guess, top, bottom down, I guess. Um, I want to know what love is. Foreigner. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, you got just, you know, the whole choir deal. You got the whole, you know, the seriousness about it. It's like, you know... Said. That's how you feel about it. That's exactly how I feel. And if you don't feel that way about it, then you're not a man or a woman or a transgender, whatever you are. My number five is uh, one of the, I think they put down one of the worst songs ever made is uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, My Girl Likes to Party All the Time. Oh shit, you stole that. Uh, it's on my list too, but further down, but I'll, I'll, I'll have my reasons later. <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, uh, how can you hate it? It's, it just gets in your head, it's groovy and. Yeah. I got best vocals, but hey, yeah. to me, it, it, it is the 80s. I'll put my reasons, but it's later down my list. My number four is from a pretty terrible movie called Flashdance. Oh, that's a good one. And it's a song, What a Feeling. <laughs> that's a good one. I mean, you can't go wrong the, the king of the 80s movie soundtrack, Giorgio Moroder, just doing all his cheesy ass shit. You know, I mean, he did the soundtracks for Scarface, he did songs for Top Gun. I mean, what more do you want? And then even Daft Punk did a tribute to him. It's fucking Daft Punk. Who gives a fuck? Well, my number four is um, a young girl that took everybody's hearts back in uh, that time. I don't think she was, what, 17, 16 years old? Debbie Gibson. Very good. Only in my dream. Very good, very good. Yes. I mean, that's all. I love playing the bass to that song. I don't know what it is, but to me that describes how shitty the 80s were, do you know, in a good way. Well, do you know all her songs were about God? Good for her, yeah. I guess. I guess. Well, my number three, <laughs> my number three to you is Party All the Time. Mostly because of the, probably, the ridiculous amount of cocaine that was done to that song and the fact that Rick James produced it. There had to have been a shit ton of cocaine. That's, that's just all I got there. My number three you have to put down is one of the greatest songs, and 40 Ounce Fear would definitely agree. You can't have this not on your list. It's Toto Africa. Very good. I, and, uh, of course, a notable cover done by uh, by Weezer, who you could argue is a um, 2000 list of the 2000 bands. But, um, yes, they, they've recently... And Africa, the video, I mean, also makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. It doesn't matter. But that's an 80s song. I mean, yeah. the video doesn't have to make any fucking sense exactly. either. Exactly. I mean, but, high on cocaine in the Exactly. 80s. Well, the party on the time video makes no sense. The, um, I want to know what love is video. It doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense either. It doesn't have to. It's the 80s. Which leads to my number two. And that doesn't mean it's shit. But, um, the number two song, a lot of people like to post it on Starship, uh, We Built the City. I, on the other hand, took it another direction. I went to Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now. Because that video is just horrendous, mm. and it's just got some stupid dance routine in it, and like some karate chopping and shit like that, and the song just pretty much has nothing to it. It's it's amazing. My number two is uh, another foreigner song called Urgent. Um, it's got probably one of the greatest saxophone solos in, in mankind. Yes. And um, I would like to do a video just putting that on loop. And. Um, I mean, just the hair they had back in those days. I mean, nothing describes the 80s more than 
that saxophone solo yes, hair. Lou, Lou Graham's uh, Jerry Curl was amazing. And they put way too much like emotion and passion to that song. Well, that's, that's kind of what Foreigner did in the yeah, 80s. That's what they did. Well, my number one um, is actually from a soundtrack of the movie Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. We Don't Need Another Hero by Tina Turner. <laughs> and, um, I mean, just at the end, they just planted choir at the end. There's no reason for it. Tina Turner actually does an amazing job of carrying the song by her own. But the video has just, like, got all this shit from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, which in itself is a really 80-ish movie. And Tina Turner just, like, standing there as... Uh, forgive me, I forget the name of her character in that movie, but... She's just standing there on some platform and has, like, wind blowing at her the whole time. I mean, that's just so, so 80s. Like a, like a massive fan just blowing her the whole time and with her 80s hair. Oh, my God, it's incredible. Well, my number one is, no surprise, um, it's Banana Rama Cruel Summer. Oh, very good. And um, if you actually watch the video, they admitted they were incredibly high on cocaine. Oh, I mean, you say Eddie Murphy was, too. In her yeah, yeah, it's real. Uh, just... Three women that uh, just enjoyed cocaine and making mediocre songs that were awesome. Including several covers, which um, they had nothing to do with. Yep. And still made number one his own. And just watch a live version of it. They uh, they have a guitar in their airplane. And, I mean, nothing yeah. describes the 80s for an airplane and a guitar. <laughs> they, they do not give a fuck. In that they, video. Don't. they don't. They do not give a you fuck. You can fake play guitar nowadays and get banned for it. Back in the 80s, it was okay. Of course, they, uh, of the five I mentioned, though, how many have a guitar in it? I think I want to know what love is kind of does. I don't think any of them have any guitar in it really to speak of. Well, not nothing that sticks out, I guess. No, no. I think all mine actually do, except for the Eddie Murphy. So. Yeah, part of the time I don't think does. What a feeling definitely does not. We only know that hero doesn't. Um, nothing's gonna stop us now. I don't think that really does. We're doing the eighties eighties songs. You don't need guitar in the 80s. Of course, then again, you want a little fun fact. Prince's song. Um, there's a Prince song, When Doves Cry. Oh, uh, yeah. First number one hit that one. did not feature a bass line. Oh, did not do that. There you go. This man knows his trivia. First number one song that did not feature a bass line at all. So, no Michael Jackson on this list. No uh, well, Michael Madonna. Michael Jackson's great. Michael yeah. Don Madonna's Madonna. great, too. I mean, they're some 80s cheese at the best, but I mean, they're, they might be a little higher than 80s cheese. Maybe that's why they're on Yeah, the list. they're in a league of their own. I but, mean, and Toto's actually, you know, Africa's a pretty amazing song. It's not really like 80s cheese just had to be on the list. Yeah, know? but but the video is incredibly shitty. Yeah, yeah. They still have them Actually, another fun fact, you know... Uh, have you seen the new Taylor Swift video? It probably sucks more dick than Sally Fields. It's probably very overproduced. Yeah. But you know another fun fact about Toto, right? You know, um, the father of one of the members of Toto, John Williams. Oh. The guy who did the Star Wars soundtracks and many other soundtracks you're, you all love and know. So there you have it. Let's uh, chug the rest, I guess. Yeah, it's sponsored by Mickey's. Not really, but... Yeah, Mickey's is the best. Cheers, fellas. Uh, good enough for me. Pretty good? I think I can live with it. All right, there's our top five. We'll try to do this. If you like it, like. Tell us how much we suck. Tell us how much you like us. Just, I don't know, just comment. Next what do you up, think's the top five eightieth eighty songs? Yes. Next up, top five common brands. Hit. There are none. What brands? Exactly. <laughs>